Hey the pen friends, welcome to the channel again. Like always, it's your host Amy from Pen Venture, and I am back with another fountain pen review. This time we will take a closer look at the latest Momento Zero Jade from Leonardo of Gina Italiana, and we are going to get our hands on the latest nibs that were launched by Leonardo of Gina Italiana, the steel elastic fine and extra fine nibs. Let me show you how the pen looks and let me show you how these two beautiful nibs perform. Here we are back with another fun pen review. It's been some stressful few days and uh, I want to take my mind off uh, the things that are going on at this very moment. And I want to showcase what has been recently added to our inventory, the latest Momento Zero in Jade uh, resin from Leonardo of Cina Italiana. But most important, we will get to test the latest two new entries in their nib range, the steel elastic extra fine and steel elastic fine nibs. Beautiful nibs, I've got my hands on the, quite a few of them that we were uh, sold as pre-orders and um, let me tell you that they are quite interesting and I want to showcase them both in this video review together with a comparison in between the gold 14 karat nib option in the same range, the elastic range from Leonardo Eficina Italiana and uh, of course being a model that's not that new to everyone the momento zero series i'm going to skip most of the explanations and comparisons because you already know the fountain pen i'm going to briefly move through uh, the details and we will get to the most important part of this review meaning that we are going to test each nib and i'm going to show you how you can install this too beautiful new nib uh, in your fountain pens or nib units if they are uh, available to be disassembled as a nib unit and uh, let's not make this video too long and let's get right into the subject i'm going to skip the customer experience the fountain pen comes in a small clamshell box with the warranty informations and everything but here we have the fountain pen in front of us it's a momento zero series Leonardo of Cina Italiana, a beautiful fountain pen. It is not oversized, it is very practical, it is a great starter for a um, next level fountain pen or an entry level fountain pen. It's practical, it is comfortable, uh, very well polished, machined by hand. Remember each and every single fountain pen from Leonardo of Cina Italiana, it's made on a lathe and a polished by hand and I've showed you this in our visit uh, clips in Italy at Leonardo of Cina Italiana so there isn't any injection molding and that alone makes the fountain pen very desirable in my opinion. In the regards of shape we have the same fountain pen the resin is very very beautiful bright with this uh, very uh, subtle uh, green a mix of uh, semi-transparent and uh, a little bit more opaque different shades of uh, green it is uh, showcasing a very nice marbling effect throughout the fountain pen i have here its uh, sibling made with gold trim so we do have available two trim colors gold and rhodium as you can pretty much see there isn't too much difference in between uh, the pattern or the mix of colors so for example you don't need to actually check what pens are in stock although we do have that option and to pick the one that you like the most in my opinion they are all the same and it's a very very beautiful fountain pen overall moving further we have a three ring configuration different from previous models there isn't any engraving on the barrel right here it is engraved on the back of the cap right here with Leonardo and the number of the fountain pen. Remember, this is not a limited edition fountain pen, but it's numbered. Basically, it's not limited edition, but once the material is uh, completely manufactured into fountain pens, they're not going to use the same material. So pretty much in some aspects, 
it is limited. The clip is uh, the same like on the different models from Leonardo Ficina Italiana. And let's get to the star of this review. This beautiful, beautiful Yovo Steel Elastic Flex Nib. A very, very nice surprise seeing this from Leonardo Ficina Italiana. And let me tell you why. When it comes to elastic slash flex nibs of modern fountain pens, it's quite tricky. This uh, nibs, they do come with a cost. Mainly they are made out of gold and uh, they do cost quite significantly more than a steel version and they do offer a lot more performances and a much more interesting writing experience. I have not stumbled across such nibs that are elastic slash flex in steel that offer a similar uh, writing experience to the gold ones at a fairly less pricey uh, option. And I was quite pleased to see that Leonardo introduced this uh, steel elastic nib because I do think they are on to something really, really good. And I'm going to show you this in a writing sample in a few moments. So we do have this nib that has these two cutouts and it's very, very similar to the gold version. And I have here a fountain pen which I'm going to put it side by side for you guys to see. So this is a 14 karat gold fine elastic nib and this is the steel version. You can pretty much tell them apart quite easy. The elastic steel nibs are fairly thinner, so the gold ones are more uh, thicker, but they do come a little bit more soft. Anyway, we will explore that in a writing sample. And this nib is absolutely stunning. I do think this is quite interesting and a big, big step forward from Leonardo Ficina Italiana. And I dare you to try this. Anyway, let's get back to the review. So we have the elastic fine and it's available also in an extra fine point if you are looking strictly for a line variation. So the finer point is a little bit more smooth and offers less line variation. If we start from an extra fine, we do have more line variation, but it comes with the cost. These nibs are friction fitted in a nib unit together with the ABS plastic feed. It's very easy to mount such a nib on your fountain pen if it comes with the Yovo nib from Leonardo. So let me show you how you would need to proceed in order to change the nib unit. We do have separate nib units that you can have as an option to plug and play on your fountain pen if it has a Yovo nib unit. So you would remove the cartridge converter and uh, I'm going to use this rubber grips to unscrew the section and this is how easy it can be changed. Let me show you how would you put everything back together. So you would take this, introduce, screw in, hold the nib, do not screw too tight in order to deform or bend the nib. Now you put back the screw in cartridge converter and it is done. You have a functional fountain pen ready to be used. It's that easy. And since you've seen these beautiful colors, the design of the fountain pen, these two new nibs, how easy it is to be changed on your fountain pen. So if you have a Momento Zero or a Furore, the new ones uh, that have the Yovo nibs, or maybe you have a Momento Zero Grande, for that you would need to just pull the nib out like so, for example, and you would take this nib and you would mount it on the feeder and you would friction fit that to your fountain pen very easy. I think we have a uh, tutorial on how to friction fit nibs and I'm gonna try to link that video up there so you can check that out. Let me put back together the fountain pen, let me cap it and uh, let me show you how it looks next to different fountain pens so uh, not skipping the overall uh, size and proportions of these fountain pens. Here we have the Momento Zero 
next to a Furore Grande from Leonardo. It's less lengthy. And here we have the Momento Zero Grande series. So the bigger brother. And now let me show you how it looks next to a Momento Magico. So the fountain pen is a very, very nice option. It is not too big. It can be posted if you need to have more length to the overall barrel or a little bit more weight uh, on the back of the fountain pen. Let me uh, find my notebook and let me show you this two nibs in action. And here we go. We have the pen Leonardo Momento Zero Jade. And we have the ink and this is Leonardo black and the nib is teal elastic fine now the ink flow I'm gonna put an F here from the fine point this is one pass and this is a double pass oops supposed to be a double pass so as you can see we do have a fairly wet ink flow it's not overly overly wet now let me show you some normal figure of eights for the fine nib and some flex for the fine nib we do have some line variation although it's not gigantic but the nib is quite smooth playful, interesting, and I would leave it as so. Don't overdo the flex on these nibs. They are quite stiff. The ink flow keeps up very well. I'm gonna put an F right here. I'm gonna try to see if I can railroad this nib. It is quite, let's say, stiff, and it does uh, need a little bit of effort in regards of flexing this nib, and it does have a sort of a rigidity after one point and it's just like it doesn't want to go too far in regards of uh, uh, making the nib railroad. So pretty much I would deem it as being a very, very well balanced elastic or slash flex option for a nib at that cost, the steel nib. Now let me install the extra fine point and let me compare it to what we have right here. Let's go and let's see the flow. So this is one pass. So we have extra fine and this is a double pass. A significant thinner line in regards of starting um, the first initial line. So it's not that thick as a fine nib. And just like I told you, if you're looking for strictly line variation, go for the extra fine. Now we have some extra fine normal figure of eights. As you can see, we do have a lot of difference in between the fine and extra fine. And we have some flex extra fine. And let me show you. Wow, I do love the extra fine point. And for me, I would say that it is an option that I will take and choose to go from the flex fine. So if you're looking for something that's not going to be flexed every single time and you don't care for such line variation, go for a fine nib because it's much more overall great. If you are looking for flex, fun and line variation go for the extra fine let's have some extra fine figure of eight and i'm going to try to do this quickly it's not skipping it's not railroading it keeps up very well and very very beautiful and now for the sake of it i'm going to try to showcase the gold elastic 14 carat and this is the elastic fine from the get going a much more smoother riding experience overall a much more precise and soft nib much more easy to flex much more wet ink flow 
and less pressure needed in order to be flexed. And here is where my ink runs out because this has a lot more ink flow than the other two nibs and I just only dip this nib in some black ink that I have right here. Overall, I would say that it's a quite interesting option. And now let me uh, put everything right here and let me showcase some of my personal opinions regarding this latest addition to the Momento Zero series. Hmm, how should I say this? You done it, Leonardo Ficina Italiana. You done it. You made a beautiful fountain pen. You made a brilliant nib and I love the result. This fountain pen with this nib and the possibility of having this nib on the entire range of fountain pens is brilliant. Now you have a very, very nice alternative to the 14 karat gold nib option, which is much more pricey, but also offers a much more improved, uh, improved riding experience. Yet again, you have an option right now. So there isn't any gaps in the lineup of nibs. If you want a little bit of flex and you don't want to pay the extra cost of having a golden nib, 14 karat elastic gold nib on your Leonardo fountain pen, you have the possibility of having such a nib on a Leonardo fountain pen. And for that alone, I think that Leonardo is the best. In all other aspects, I think it's a nice alternative that the nib is offered also as a singular nib unit, which you can mount it yourself on different fountain pens that are using the Leonardo Yovo nib unit. Yet again, you can mount it on a Leonardo fountain pens that have a Yovo uh, nib and also a ebonite feeder. If your fountain pen has a Yovo nib, from Leonardo, I think you can retrofit this elastic steel nib option. The two nib sizes, the fine and extra fine are brilliant. Personally, I love the extra fine. I don't know what's going on with me, but lately I've been going to finer and finer points because I love to have that thin hairline and uh, I think it's splendid. These two nibs were not adjusted previously let me know your feedback once you have this fountain pens with these nibs in your private collections and let me know how it is if you're looking for a momento zero jade or any other leonardo fountain pen down below you'll find the links for our shop and for this fountain pen it is in stock at this very moment we have plenty of elastic extra fine and fine points from Leonardo if you want a specific nib only the nib unit it is available and uh, I can leave you the link for this on our website you can enter there and order your elastic extra fine or fine nib and you can retrofit that to your fountain pen and uh, pretty much that sums up my review for the Momento Zero Jade from Leonardo Ficina Italiana. I hope you like it. We didn't discuss aspects of weight, um, details, uh, design and all of that, but I'm pretty sure that most of you that are watching our videos, you already know the shape, the size, the balance of a Momento Zero because it's here for the past four years, if I'm not mistaken. Thank you for spending this time with me on the Penventure YouTube channel. Thank you for supporting Penventure and my passion. If you like my content, if you like my videos, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. This will help me a lot with the YouTube algorithm to reach out to many more just like you. Just like I told you, down below you'll find the links for the fountain pen, for the nib, and everything that you would need to get in contact with us on the Penventure website. And uh, I know that some of you that are watching our videos are not subscribed yet so if you want to subscribe you just need to click here and turn the notification bell on and if you want to see more quality content from penventure and myself you have this video right here click and enjoy like always it's me your host amy from penventure and i look forward to seeing you next video take care stay safe bye bye